All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own hyper-realistic UGC videos for your e-com brand with Sora 2 uh, using our seven-step system. And if you don't know who I am, my name's Ramil. We run a performance marketing agency where we produce over a 1,000 UGC ads every month for over 108 and I figured UGC brands. Um, and with AI coming into the mix, Sora 2 being out now, it completely changes everything. We're completely pivoting from creators to Sora 2 just because the videos are so realistic. And I'll show you a couple of them in a second. So if you look here- You are not gonna you meet your fitness goals ads. unless you get a good night's sleep. And if you're anything like I was, you're not sleeping well. As you can see, they look really real. You are not going to scale your econ brand unless you leverage AI. I'll show you guys a couple more. Look at this one. Literally saved my marriage. I'm not even joking. And if you need something to spike. And you can even do like podcasts or streams. We've got this card game called Woo Your Boo. Ooh, I like that. First question. What's my... F right. So there's just so many um, ways that we can leverage this because it looks really well. And I'm not sure if you were able to hear that audio, but the audio is really good too. So they look very real even to people who are actively in the space like it's, it's hard for me to tell nowadays so that being said hiring a creator for like two three four hundred dollars is not doesn't make any sense right now because you can literally use this to create just as high quality content and half the time like a fraction of the price so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so uh starting with first step step number one what you want to do is you don't want to reinvent the wheel okay so you want to um look at another brand look at some viral TikTok, see what's working and leverage that and replicate it so you don't want to just create random videos you want to look at what's working and leverage that so um what you want to do is you want to go on the ad library uh, you want to go on TikTok, tock hallow data magic brief foreplay any ad spying tool and you want to look at ads that have been running at least 30 days um, and then you want to take that ad and then you want to replicate that as and add and use that as an example okay and i'm going to show you how to do that in a second okay and then step two what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the ad via gemini so once we have this winning ad we're going to take it and we're going to put it into gemini have it actually um, go through a prompt and analyze all the details of that video so we can make it as similar to that video as possible and then step three what we're going to do is we're going to take the details that we get from gemini about the video and implement that into our GPT. So we have a GPT that's gonna create a Sora 2 prompt that's very specific and it's gonna use the information from Gemini to create a prompt that is gonna work really well with Sora 2. Then we're gonna paste that prompt into Sora 2 um, and then it's gonna produce the video. We're gonna take that video, we're going to add it to our watermark remover, which I'll show you how to do afterwards. And then once you have the final video, you're gonna add it to your Google Drive. And then last but not least, you're either gonna post it on TikTok or upload it to your ads manager, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do all these steps and we're gonna get started right now. So first things first, like we said, we've got to find a viral video. So the main ways that you can do that is by going to the ad library. So you're just gonna to go to Facebook ad library um, and then you're going to look at a video that you can replicate. So we're gonna use one of my past clients as an example, Lifecycle and we're just gonna look for a UGC video, okay? Um, in this one, so again, what you wanna do is you wanna look for an ad that was running for at least 30 days. Uh, that indicates that it's at least doing decently, um, but I can show you another video how you can actually find really good winners. There's some spy tools that work really well um, where you can know for sure that it's a winner, um, and we've tested this in our ad account, so I can show you that in another video. If you would like to see that, let me know in the comments, um, but for now, we're gonna start with this one. So. All you have to do is simply go to a UGC video and then you want to download that video. So um, you can just go to, to download any of these videos, you can just go to Facebook uh, video downloader. So you just go on Google Facebook video downloader. Um, and the one that we typically use is called fbdown.net. Um, so you basically just, um, if you have the Chrome instruction extension, you can literally just download it straight from here. But if we wanted to uh, take the actual video, then you could, um, put the Facebook video in here and then do it that way. Um, but I highly recommend just getting the extension. That way you can just do it easily like this. So we're gonna download this video, okay? So it's gonna download. Just like that, we have the actual video. We're gonna click download and now it is a saved file, okay? So let's actually take a look at this video. Have you seen the video of that lady who power cleaned her whole house in an hour after taking that? Cool, so I definitely think we can replicate this with Sora. So let's do it, all right? So step one is complete. We found our winning ad. Um, again, guys, so you don't have to use the ad library. You can also use um, like TikTok, for example. So let's show you how we would do that. So we just go on TikTok uh, and then you're gonna go to um, 
testimonials or like TikTok made me buy it, um, that kind of thing. Go to like TikTok made me buy it um, and then look at a viral video, a video that's actually doing really well. Um, and then try to replicate it. You know, what we want is more like a UGC testimonial product review. So we could type in like product review and we just want someone like talking to camera and see like what hooks work really well, for example. Um, so something like this, right? So it has a decent amount of views. Um, so we could probably uh, create something like this, okay? So we would take this. All right, here's my split in. And Watch then you wanna this. download this video. And then again, same thing, you're gonna upload it to Gemini. So. Um, we're going to take the first video that we downloaded and we're going to upload it to Gemini right now. So let's go to Google Gemini. And then what you want to do is you want to upload that video. So we're going to take that same video that we just saved. Um, I believe that it is this one here. So we're going to upload it just like that. And then we're going to give it a very specific prompt. Um, I'm going to go to my Google Docs real quick. I have it here. And I'm gonna give you guys this Google Doc. Um, I'm gonna have it in the description so you guys can leverage it as well. And you're basically gonna give Gemini this prompt right here, okay? So it says, analyze this video, extract the full script, and generate a definitive Sora 2 prompt to replicate it exactly as a hyper-realistic shot on iPhone UGC video for TikTok. Ensure you use the detailed character template, the structure format we've established, use metadata, blah, 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 blah. okay? So we're gonna copy that. We're going to take the video and then we're going to paste it into Gemini and we're gonna let that cook. All right, so we let that go to work. And then once we get that, we're going to copy all of this data, all right? So as you can see, it's giving us a lot of information on the girl in the video. So it's saying it's a female, late 20s to early 30s, long, dark brown hair, parted down the middle, minimal but effective makeup, genuine bright smile, casual chic black knit sweater top. So you can see it's literally describing what this girl is wearing so that we can make something, we can literally create this person uh, in Sora, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of that information, we're gonna copy it, so just click copy here, and then we're going to go to our um, GPT that we created. Um, so you can either use our GPT or there's a specific prompt that you can use in either ChatGPT or Claude, um, and then you can do that, okay? So the GPT that we created, we're also gonna try to give you access to this in the description. Um, so all you have to do is literally paste the answer. You wanna say something like, um, you want to say, here's the AI answer, and then you're gonna paste the Gemini answer there, okay? So you go, here's the AI answer, please give me the final prompt. So you're gonna go back to Gemini again. We're going to copy this. We're gonna paste it into our GBT, and then we're gonna let it cook. All right, so we're gonna let that go to work. And then this is the one that we're gonna paste directly into Sora. Okay, so we just let this cook, let this go to work. All right, so that is step two done. On to step three. So we already did that optimized in our GBT. On to step four. So what we're gonna do is paste that prompt into Sora too. So once it's done, it's almost done here, giving us lots of info, blah, blah, blah. Cool. All right, so you wanna copy this. Uh, you just wanna make sure that it actually matches everything. So 29 year old Australian woman, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, yeah, 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 that looks good. So you can see it's very descriptive, guys, and like, um, yeah. So you wanna make sure that you include all this. You wanna make sure that it's also only 10 seconds um, because Sora can only do 10 seconds. So maybe you can just be like, uh, give me the exact same prompt, but change the script to only be the first 10 seconds. Boom, give it that. And then we're gonna get the same thing, but it's just gonna give us the first 10 seconds. That way when we give it to Sora, um, it actually makes sense, all right? So let's let that cook, let that cook. Um, and then once we have that done, we're gonna paste it into Sora. So let's open up Sora real quick. Sora, oh my God, there we are, there's Sora. 
and then we're going to ask it to describe our video. So we take this, bada boom bow, okay, copy it, and then we're going to paste it into Sora, boom, and then we're going to let that cook. There we go. Sora is making our video. And you can see some of the other videos that we've made previously. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to upload. You can even see I Dolphins are just hands. weird ones of myself too. Um, yeah, you can make AI videos with yourself, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, while we let that wait, let's uh, go to the next part. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the watermark once it's done. So you're going to go to, you just go on Google, search up uh, Sora watermark remover. Um, so our watermark remover. Uh, so this one I like to use, magiceraser.org. So you go to this, and then once we download the video, we're just going to upload it here, um, and then it's going to completely remove the watermark. Okay. Um, but first, let's just let this go to work. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once we're ready to go. All right, guys. So the video is done, and this is what it produced for us. She cleaned her whole house in an hour after taking. Well, apparently people thought she was exaggerating until they tried it themselves. If you tell me you've got something that locks you in and puts you on turbo mode, yeah, babe. She cleaned her whole So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds really, really good. And remember, guys, this is the video that we're trying to replicate. We're simply trying to replicate. Uh, let me find the video here. I believe it is this one here. So this is the video we're trying to replicate. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly the same, but you can see there are similarities, right? So we have... Uh, this girl, she has a slightly tanner skin, um, but the long brown hair is the same. Um, and yeah, the overall look is similar, right? And she's saying the exact same script that this woman is saying here. Um, so um, if you want to make adjustments, you obviously can. So sometimes it doesn't come out perfect every time. So uh, let's say, okay, this girl's eyes look to be more hazel green. So we could just update the prompt and have it spit out again. Um, and then just keep iterating until we have the final video. But for time's sake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video. So we download it and then we're going to go back to our Sora watermark remover. So we go back to where we were before. And we're just simply going to upload the Sora video that we saved. Okay. Okay, so I believe that the one that we saved is not this one. Let me see. I'm gonna go download. Cool. All right, so it should be there now. Let's try to upload this. Okay. There we go, boom. So our video is there. We upload it to Sora Watermark Remover. Let it generate, let it do. Let it do its thing. All right, and it is done. So we just download that video. It's good to go. Let's check it out without the watermark now. See what it looks like. And boom. She cleaned her whole house in an hour after taking. Well, apparently people thought she was exaggerating. It's freezing a little bit, but she as cleaned you can see her whole. There is no sore watermark in the entire video. House in an hour after taking. Well, apparently people thought she was exaggerating until they tried it themselves. If you tell me you've got something that locks you in and puts you on turbo mode, yeah, but she cleaned. So there we go. All right, so we take this video, and then the next step is let's look to our sheet. Is we are simply going to add it to Google Drive and then upload it to Adjet Manager. So obviously these two steps are optional. You don't have to add it to Google Drive. That's just a part of our system. So you would just upload that video to Google Drive and then you would just take that video, post it on TikTok or upload it to your Ads Manager and you're good to go, okay? Um, and then obviously what you can also do is not just have that one clip, but have like three or four of those clips um, to make a full final ad, okay? And in the next video, I'll show you guys how we can 
uh, put these clips together. We can get B-roll shots and everything with Sora to, to make a final ad that actually performs on Facebook and it gets you lots of money for your e-commerce, okay? So we can make little short ads using this method um, that are 10 seconds and still create profitable ads, um, but we can also create longer form ads by combining videos together. So I'll show you guys that in the next video. If you want any help with setting this up yourself and you need um, some actual assistance, um, I'm gonna have a link to my booking uh, link in the call. So if you want to just have a call and uh, learn how we can help you do this for your business, just let us know. Um, but yeah, that's that for this video. We'll talk soon, guys.